My collection means the world to me. It is basically everything and anything I could have ever wanted as a young child. Walter Kruger has amassed a massive haul of around 10,000 pieces of Wizard of Oz memorabilia over more than two decades. The 28-year-old's home near Chicago, USA is filled to the brim with collectibles from the classic Hollywood movie, which cost him $200,000. This is my main Oz room. I have things such as replica crystal balls <laughs> to life-size wicked witches, all the way for, to a middle, miniature model of Dorothy's house when it first drops to Oz, all the way to the Emerald City. Now he hopes to inspire a new generation by fulfilling his dream of turning his life's work into a museum. My collection means the world to me. It is my escape. Growing up, the Wizard of Oz story helped Walter cope with his biggest challenges and personal tragedy. When I was younger, I was bullied. And then in my teenage years, my mom passed away when I was 16. My mom was the person who ignited this passion and would fuel it for me. And the jewel in the collection was a present from his mother. These are a pair of replica ruby slippers made by the Western Costume Company for the 50th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz in 1989. These are probably one of the most precious items in my collection, as not for monetary value, but because they were given to me by my mother. And Walter's 10,000-piece collection is gaining value every day. A current appraisal, which was I have had recently done by another collector, appraised my collection out for about five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars as as a collector's value. So I'm always adding new pieces to my collection. That's something that I do on a daily basis. Uh, I've gone under some criticism with my with my Oz session as I call it. Um, but his amazing hoard of memorabilia is quickly outgrowing his home. It's kind of taking over my house at the moment. And Walter dreams of turning his collection into a museum. I want to have a museum and I want to preserve these things for children to see in the future. Never lose your dream, never lose sight of your dream. And that's something I believe and I want to share that. It's a yellow brick road I'm on and my own journey.